guys, thanks for stopping by. I just realized that I have not done an Old Navy haul and try on this entire spring and summer season. How is that even possible? My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. I am going to put links to all of the pieces that I'm sharing with you today in the description box below. The first piece that I want to talk about is the top that I'm wearing. When I went to Old Navy, I picked up a couple of pieces in person, but most of them I picked up online because my Old Navy was a bit picked over. I also want to mention that most of the pieces that I'm sharing with you are on sale currently. You know how Old Navy always has great sales, and I'm sure that you can get every one of these pieces for less than what I paid, honestly. As soon as I walked into Old Navy, my eye went right to this top from across the store because these colors are definitely my jam. They're calling this the ruffled floral print split neck blouse. The color that I have on is a blue floral. It also comes in a really pretty color. They're calling it red clay. That is also a floral. It comes in sizes extra small through XXL and it also comes in regular, tall, and petite. And that is one of the things that I had forgotten about that I love about Old Navy, that no matter what height we are, we have options. This particular top is rated five stars on the Old Navy website, and I totally get why. The fabric is 100% viscose rayon. It says to machine wash cold gentle and hang dry. I absolutely love this pattern. It has a twall look to it. It has a white background with the blue floral. It is super, super lightweight and breathable. It feels like I'm not even wearing a long sleeve blouse, honestly. When you look at this at first, you might think, well, that's not for summer. I think it is. It is very lightweight and it's perfect for when you go into a cold store or a cold restaurant where the air conditioning is blasting and you have a little bit of coverage on your arms. It has comfortable stretch elastic here at the wrist and a nice fun balloon puff sleeve. Also love the fact that it does not have those tassel ties that I never know what to do with. When they are at the top, I have to either wear it like this and look very prim and proper, or they're hanging down straight. I never know what to do with them. So I love the fact that this doesn't have them at all. It has a pretty ruffled detail around the collar. I think this is so pretty and so feminine. I have this on with my favorite white opaque jeans at the moment. They are from JCPenney. I will link them in the description box as well. I've been wearing these nonstop because they fit perfectly and they are also not see-through, so I love them so much. The belt that I have on with this outfit, I picked up from Amazon, and I will put links again in the description box below. I bought a four pack. In fact, let me show you. I was actually on Amazon looking for one stretch belt when I came across this set of four for $18.99. What I love about this particular belt set, and especially for the price, is it has every color that I would wear. So there's a cognac, a black, a light gray, and an ivory. I cannot think of an outfit that I couldn't accessorize with these, but I digress back to the Old Navy pieces. The next piece that I wanna talk about is a pair of wedges. I ordered these online. I picked them up in two colors with the hope that I would like them. I don't like them, I love them. They're calling these the double strap espadrille wedge sandal. They are rated four and three quarter stars on the Old Navy website and I totally get it. These look like a really high shoe, but they are so comfortable because of the wedge. They have padding on the inside. I love this neutral color. Every single outfit that I went to put on these matched without exception. These do have a non-skid bottom, which is always important to me, especially when I'm wearing a heel. And one of the things that I love about these is it has a little bit of elastic goring right where the buckle is. So once I put this in the position that I would wear them in, I can easily slide these off and on my feet without unbuckling the buckle. I love the way these look with the natural fiber of the jute that wraps the heel. And I also really like the fact that it has a subtle but neutral pattern that just elevates the look a little bit. I picked up the same wedges in this black design and here's 
why. I personally don't really care for the way heavy black shoes look on my feet. If this were all solid black, I think it makes it look very clunky in general. And I don't even own a pair of black wedges for that reason. What I love about these is that it is mostly a neutral color with just the pops of black. So if I have on a black top or a black dress, I can match it to the black without the shoe visually looking heavy to me. Now, if a wedge heel is just not your thing, and some of you ladies tell me that you prefer a flat shoe, I have to mention yet again, my favorite clear gladiators from Walmart. I will link these in the description box below. I love these. I feel like Cinderella wearing the glass slipper every time I wear these because they visually disappear on your foot, but they have a pretty sparkle to them. I love them so much. And for being a flat shoe that has no arch support, these are surprisingly comfortable. When I put on this next outfit, I immediately thought, oh shoot, I meant to put on a strapless bra because I'll probably need it. And much to my delight, this top is bra friendly. So even though it comes out in a pretty wide square neckline here and has some kind of cutout detail in the back, I'm just wearing a regular standard nude bra. They're calling this the embroidered print ruffle baby doll top. This comes in sizes extra small through XXL. It also comes in a really pretty blue. It's kind of like a cornflower blue color. I did purchase this one in store and I noticed that this color was not online, but the blue one is. This is rated four and a quarter stars on the Old Navy website and they say that this is one of their best sellers. Again, I totally get why. I do have one issue with it, which we'll talk about in just a moment. The fabric is 60% cotton, 40% rayon, machine wash cold gentle, and tumble dry. I love how girly, pretty, and feminine this is. I also adore this kind of corally orange color. I am very partial to a shoulder treatment like this because I personally have narrow shoulders and I rely on fashion hacks like this to balance out my figure. So because this looks like my shoulders extend further out than they do, it balances out to the bottom portion. This has real embroidery. This is not printed on. I would imagine that in the wash, this might pucker a little bit, so you would probably have to steam it out. It is a baby doll top, and this is where I'm running into a little difficulty. I wanna mention first that this is a size medium that I have on, and honestly, I think I need a size small. This is pretty loose fitting on me. And also, when I watched the footage back, I felt like it looked like a maternity top because this was coming out. Now, if I had this on in a size small, it might not do that. And in fact, I've already ordered the blue one that's online in a size small just to see, because I just love this. It has elastic at the waist and it does nip in the waist. You can see from the front view that it does flatter the figure. But then when I turn to the side, I don't know if I should be picking out baby names. I would really like to know what you think about this top. Does it look maternity or can I pull it off? Or do I need the smaller size? Let me know in the comments down below. The pants that I have on are very comfortable and they remind me very much of a pair that I picked up at Walmart previously. These are called the high-waisted textured twill utility. They are an ankle pant and they come in a little bit at the ankle. These are in sizes extra small through XXL. And again, they come in regular, tall, and petite, which I always appreciate. The color is neutral stripe, and they do come in four additional colors. These are rated 4.2 stars on the Old Navy website. The fabric is 100% cotton, which explains why they are so comfortable, so lightweight, and so breathable. They are machine wash cold and tumble dry. These are a straight fit. They do have pockets in both the front and the back working pockets. They have an elastic waistband as well as a working drawstring. These are just a great knock around pant if you don't tend to wear shorts. I personally don't wear shorts very often, but I love a lightweight pant. These have that kind of linen chic look. I love to mix and match pieces so that I can get the most out of my wardrobe. So I also tried these on with a pair of shorts that I picked up from Walmart. These are the Millennium Bermuda Pull-On Short. I will link these in the description box below. These come in a ton of colors. They're getting to be broken in sizes because as the summer progresses, they are selling out. 
I love these in the khaki. I also have them in an olive green and a white. If you can pick these up in your size, they're a great buy, and they're only $12.86. I also wanted to try this top on with denim specifically because I just love the pop of color with the faded denim. So I pulled my all-time favorite, you're sick of hearing about them, Time and True Straight Cut jeans from Walmart. I will also link these in the description box below. Because I wanted to compare and contrast the Old Navy pull-on pant to the Walmart Twill Jogger, I went ahead and tried these on with the top as well. I think depending on what kind of look and fit you're looking for, either one of these could be a good choice. The ones that I have on from Old Navy do feel like a slimmer fit on me, especially in the thigh. The ones from Walmart, these were just so super comfortable. So if you want something that has a wider leg, and wider legs are definitely in right now, these are very comfortable, very flattering, and very breezy for hot summer days. To finish this look off, I pulled my favorite bag in a very long time. This is from Walmart. It is by the brand Scoop. I believe it's under $30. I just love how it looks like a macrame planter. I've shown this a number of times. I think it's still in stock, and if it is, I will link it in the description box below. The next piece that I want to talk about is this top that I have on. They're calling this the Ruffled Crinkle Texture Tie Front Blouse. This one does have those strings that I never know what to do with. This comes in sizes extra small through XXL. The color that I have on they're calling Leopard Print. I thought that I would love this one. I'm not so sure. It also comes in a black floral, which would have been my first choice. I love classic black and white, but they were sold out in my size, unfortunately. You may luck out and find it in your size, so I will link it in the description box. This top is rated four and a half stars on the Old Navy website. The fabric is 100% viscose rayon. It says to machine wash cold and hang dry. This is another very breathable, lightweight top. And it also has this flutter sleeve at the shoulder, which I'm typically a fan of. When I watched the footage back with this particular top, I just didn't love the print very much on me. I would have much preferred the black and white. And maybe I just have that stuck in my head and didn't give this one a fair chance. It just looks very dark and heavy. Now I realize that it's a black top, but I thought with the cream and the white throughout that it might look a little lighter. I tried this on not only with the black shorts that I have on, which we'll talk about in just a moment, but also with denim and with white jeans to try to lighten the look up. When I picked out this top online, I definitely envisioned it with these particular wedges from Old Navy, and they do match beautifully. I just don't know how I feel about this particular print. Let me know in the comments down below if you would wear this in the summer. I think my mind is on beachy colors like yellow and orange and turquoise. And when I look at the black, it just looks fall to me, even though it's a lightweight summer style. The jeans that I have on, they're calling the high-waisted twill everyday shorts. They have a five inch inseam, which I have found over time is my sweet spot. As a point of reference, I am five foot four. The color that I have on is called blackjack. They also come in a khaki color that they call upper crust. And they also have a bluish gray that's almost a Payne's gray for those of you that paint. These come in sizes 0 through 20. These are rated 4 and 3 quarter stars on the Old Navy website, and I totally get the high rating. I really like these shorts a lot. The fabric is 98% cotton, 2% spandex. It says to machine wash cold and tumble dry. I ordered these shorts in two different sizes because quite honestly, my weight has been fluctuating up and down and I wasn't sure which size I needed. So the black ones that I'm wearing as I stand here are a size 10 and they fit me properly. Because of the high cotton content, I suspect that they will shrink a little bit, which will make them fit even better. The khaki pair that I picked up that they're calling upper crust are a size 12 and these were just entirely too big. Even if they shrank one size, they would still be too big. So I do have to return these, but I've already ordered these in my correct size. I think the fabric has such a nice feel to them. These do have working front pockets right at the hip. I didn't find that they pulled on me necessarily. And then they have the sewn shut pockets on the back, which is very standard for a chino style like this. These are such good quality for the price, and I'm glad that I have them in black, and I have a replacement pair for the khaki in root. To finish off the look, I pulled my favorite 
impeccable lightweight fedora from Walmart. Not only does this make an outfit look chic, but it protects my face from the sun as well. I try to keep sunscreen on and keep the sun off of my face. And this is a really good stylish option. I will list this in the description box below if these are still in stock. I can already tell you that the top that I'm wearing now, unfortunately, I will be returning and I'll tell you why. This is the short sleeve smocked knotted striped blouse. This comes in sizes extra small through XXL. And again, they have that option for regular, tall, and petite. This is rated four stars on the Old Navy website and it is one of their best sellers. The fabric is 60% cotton, 40% rayon. It says to machine wash cold and tumble dry. I love this pretty candy looking stripe. I think it is so adorable. It has nice coverage on the sleeves and they're not a little cap sleeve. It comes down pretty far. It has this little bow in the front, which I don't object to, but here's my issue. I have been tugging on this in the couple of minutes that I've had it on and when I was doing the try-ons because it is just too low cut on me. Now, if you have broader shoulders than I do, you probably wouldn't have this problem at all because it would probably fit more like this. But on me, because I have narrow shoulders, the V plunges down further than I'm comfortable with. And even though there's a little bow here that kind of conceals it, when the bow moves around, then the cleavage is showing. This top is also very structured, which can be very flattering, but it makes it a little bit fussy. I just keep tugging and adjusting at this. When I look at it in the viewfinder, I think this is such a pretty fun stripe, especially since it's a vertical stripe. I love all of the colors in this. I tried this on with a number of bottoms, but with that said, every time I had it on, I was pulling it up, pulling it out, and adjusting it. And I know that if I have to fuss with a top like that, I just won't wear it. I think it's well made and it's really cute. And if it works for you, I do recommend it. The reason that I was completely bummed that this top didn't work for me is because I bought it to go with this fun round color block beach bag from Walmart. I will link this in the description box below, but I love how this color block design matches the stripe pattern. I thought they looked really pretty together. This beach bag does come in a couple of other colors. There's a really pretty turquoise and a black. I'm thinking about picking up the turquoise if I can find it online because I have been using this non-stop. In fact, it's heavy right now because I have a packable hat from Walmart, a beach towel, flip-flops, a bathing suit, a beach cover, and sunscreen, and there's still plenty of room. I could put my sunglasses and everything that I carry in my purse. I do love this bag so much. The next top that I have on, I love so much, and I'll tell you why. They're calling this the tie neck eyelet puff sleeve blouse. The color is calla lilies. It is an optic white to me. It comes in sizes extra small through XXL. I'm wearing this in a size small because when I looked at it online, I thought it might read a little bit wide. And although I wanted it to be roomy, I didn't want it to be boxy. This is rated four and a quarter stars on the Old Navy website. The fabric is 57% cotton, 47% rayon. It says to machine wash cold inside out and lay flat to dry. I love a crisp, fresh white top in the summer in particular. This top is see-through, but at the same time, you can't see anything, if that makes any sense. Yes, you can see skin through the little eyelet pinholes, but are you really seeing anything? I don't feel like you are. A lot of people say, well, you can wear a cami under it. I personally can't because I'm part of the Hot Flash Club. And let me know in the comments down below, if you are a part of the Hot Flash Club, I'm just curious. But I digress, this top does have a tie, but it is much lower. The tops that I don't like ties on are the ones that if it were tied, it would come all the way up here. For one thing, I feel like they're choking me. And secondly, I don't wanna look like a librarian from the 1700s. I like to have this area open. Because I generally don't tend to show a lot of skin, I'm not one to show a lot of cleavage. I'm not one to wear something that's super short that shows a whole lot of leg. I like to show a little bit of leg, but not a crazy amount. This type of skin 
is very flattering in my opinion. I think this top is just so pretty and feminine. It is also extremely lightweight and comfortable. It has elastic here. You could probably even wear this off the shoulder. That's not my taste, but you certainly could. And then it also has elastic at the arms that is not too tight. It is not digging in at all. I have plenty of room actually. I like to wear this with a cute little front tuck. I tried this a number of ways. I tried it with an all white look and I have to tell you, I am pretty much what they used to call Messy Marvin. If there is one speck of dirt in the universe, anywhere near me, even if I'm standing in the middle of a room barely breathing, that speck of dirt will find whatever white piece I have on. It has just been my lifelong story. So I do show an all white look, but I would have to be going somewhere that was going to only last a couple of hours because I know I will get something on white. Now, of course, I also like this white top with denim, with khaki, with black. So with that said, I show it with a number of different bottom options if you're like me and can attract dirt from the universe. I also showed it with an oversized beach tote. This one is from Walmart. Again, it's one of my favorites because it's neutral, but it still has texture and a pattern. If this is still online, I will link it in the description box below. I was at my local Walmart yesterday and they do still have these in stock. The next piece that I wanna talk about is the top that I'm wearing and I really, really wanted to love this. I'll tell you why I'm not so sure in just a moment. They're calling this the short sleeve smocked striped blouse it is size extra small through XXL. This one does come in regular tall and petite. It is rated four stars on the Old Navy website and it is an Old Navy bestseller. The fabric is 60% cotton, 40% rayon. It says to machine wash and tumble dry. There is so much that I love about this top. I like how it has straps, but they're not too bare and too strappy. I was easily able to wear a regular bra. I also like how it has this smocking all on the bodice, which really helps to accentuate the figure and bring in the waist. It has a little bit of a peplum style at the bottom, and I am a huge fan of the colors navy blue and white together. So this was going to be the trifecta for me. However, the patterns don't match up. Now let me know if I'm being weird. I really think that this top would look better if the patterns matched up. I know that it's an inexpensive top, but I still kind of expect that quality, right? I would love to know if this would bother you about the pattern, so let me know in the comments down below. I really wanted to love this. This is so comfortable, so easy, so lightweight and breezy. I just don't know if I can get past the patterns not matching up. I think the bag that I showed with this, who knows at this point, I filmed so many try-ons, was this round wicker bag that I picked up from Amazon. I love this bag. It has a really pretty navy blue lining with floral. This style bag, the round canteen style, has been on trend for a couple of seasons now. I love the texture of it. It carries a surprising amount. I can fit everything that I need in it. I don't use this as my everyday bag, but if I'm going out for a couple of hours, maybe to lunch with friends, or maybe to walk around a little craft fair, I like to carry this bag. It's very lightweight, and you can fit a surprising amount in it. Again, this is from Amazon. It's very inexpensive, and I will link it in the description box below. The next thing that I wanna talk about is the t-shirt that I'm wearing. I really like these Lux t-shirts from Old Navy. They're calling this the tie-dye crew neck tee. This comes in sizes extra small through XXL. They also have regular tall and petite. The color that I have on is called orchid tie-dye. They also have two additional colors. These are rated four and three quarter stars on the Old Navy website. I totally get why. I also get why these are a bestseller. I pick up a couple every year because I really like the fabric on these. These are 95% rayon, which gives it a really nice hand feel, and then they have 5% spandex, which gives it the perfect amount of stretch. These are machine wash cold and tumble dry. 
Now, typically, I honestly prefer a V-neck, but I liked the print of this one so much that I wanted to try it. The pattern on this almost reminds me of a heart monitor where the heart is beating, but I love this pretty lilac with the white and the blue. I've been on a tie-dye kick for a couple of seasons now, and it is still on trend, but this one is definitely more of a subtle tie-dye. It's more organized, if that makes sense. The feel of this is just lovely. I tried this on with a number of bottoms, just how I would wear it if I were out and about. I highly recommend these t-shirts. The version of this t-shirt that I have from last season has been washed many times and has held up well. I love the way this particular fabric feels against the skin. Every season they come out with fun new patterns and I always find myself at the little table where they're all folded looking for a couple to pick up, especially if they have a good price. Most of these pieces, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, are on deep discounts right now. It's why I'm not even talking about price because everything that I paid, I'm sure you're going to get for a lot less. Next piece that I want to talk about, I really consider to be more of a layering piece, meaning that I wouldn't wear it on its own. And it's this cami, but I think it is so pretty. They're calling this the printed ruffle v-neck cami. The color that I have on is pink floral. It also comes in four additional colors. It comes in sizes extra small through XXL. The one that I have on is a size medium. It is rated four and a quarter stars on the Old Navy website. The fabric is 100% rayon. It says to machine wash cold, gentle, and air dry. I thought that the pattern of this was so pretty and I thought it would look really nice with a denim jacket. So I have on my favorite denim jacket at the moment, which Angela Masson made me buy because she looked fabulous in it. I will link this jacket in the description box below. I love the blush color of this camisole. Now I know that some people wear camisoles as a top. I am a little bit old school. I still consider a camisole to go under things, but not necessarily standalone. But in order to properly show you this, I will show it without the jacket. This is rayon, so I realize that it will shrink. I'm going to try not to put it in the dryer. Sometimes I forget and I'm in a hurry and I throw a load in and don't pull out the things that shouldn't go in it. I just think this camisole is so pretty. I was going back and forth between a couple of the patterns because I liked quite a few of them. I'm really glad that I went with this one. It's so soft and so spring and summer-like. I love the little ruffle detail at the neckline, and I'm always a big fan of fully adjustable straps so that I can make the neckline hit at a place that I'm comfortable with. This feels like nothing on. It is lightweight, it is breathable. I think it looked really nice with the denim jacket because the denim pulled out the blue in the flowers. There's also some pink and yellow and white and green in this. I think it will go with a lot. Now, even though this is bare to me to wear on its own, Full disclosure, if a hot flash hits hard, I am whipping that jacket off, so you might just see me out in public in this. But what I do is when the hot flash hits, I take the jacket off, and the minute it passes, I put the jacket back on. So you may see me in a restaurant or out shopping very briefly in this, but in general, I'll have most of it covered up. I just think the parts that peek out are just so pretty. I loved it equally with white jeans as I did with denim. I think I'll get a lot of use out of this. I hope that it doesn't shrink too much. I'll try to remember to update you on it because I do plan on keeping this. I also found that I had two pair of shoes that match this beautifully. The first pair is my favorite wedges from Walmart because they're the same blush color. I love the bling on these. If these are still available on the Walmart website, I will link them in the description box below. These are called a demi wedge, which I hadn't heard of before, but it's about half the height of most of the wedges that I have, and they are super comfortable. I also like this cami a lot with these flip-flops from Old Navy. Fun fact, I have never purchased a pair of flip-flops from Old Navy before. I've bought different shoes over the years, but never a pair of flip-flops. When I saw these, I just loved the ombre pattern so much. These come in a couple of colors. They're calling these the plant-based T-strap flip-flops. The ones that I have in my hand are a size eight and they are true to size, it's my true size. They come in sizes five through 11, which I think is a pretty inclusive range. They have a warm ombre and a cool ombre. They're calling this one the warm ombre. They come in six additional colors. 
These are rated four and a half stars on the Old Navy website and they are a bestseller. Even though these say that they are plant-based, I was curious about that and honestly a little bit skeptical. So I did some digging as I always do when I'm preparing for a video and I wanted to see what they were really made out of, right? Because I was just being nosy. And come to find out, they are 100% synthetic materials with sugarcane and synthetic outsoles. Hmm. So it sounds like they're about 95% synthetic, but they got that little push with the sugar cane. Even with that little discrepancy, I still like these a lot, so much that I bought them in two colors. I'll show you the other pair in just a minute. And I do plan on keeping these just to knock around in. These are not shoes that I would wear all day to a walking event, to a theme park, or even to the beach necessarily. But if I'm running to Walmart or running to the grocery store, I certainly would. I've always been partial of the T-style strap. It's very minimal, so they look very lightweight and almost invisible on your feet with just a little pop of color. I think the ombre is really pretty. They also have nice non-skid surfaces on the bottom. It feels substantial. These don't feel like you're standing on the ground. Of course, they don't have arch support because they are a flip-flop and they are a flat shoe, but as far as flip-flops go, the thickness is pretty decent. This next top, I am in love with this color. And when I was filming, I noticed when I looked in the viewfinder, I could see the trumpet vines that grow on our deck behind me. And this is the exact color of the flowers on the trumpet vines, the ones that the hummingbirds love so much. It is such a pretty tie-dye pattern, but it's not an overdone tie-dye. It's just kind of a tone on tone. They're calling this the Lux Tie-Dye High Neck Tank Top. The color that I have on, they're calling coral, and I would say it is definitely a true coral, and it does come in three additional colors. This comes in sizes small through XXL, and it also comes in regular, tall, and petite, which I always appreciate. I have on a size small because I bought this same cut last season and it was a little bit too voluminous for me. So if you are between sizes, you might want to size down. This is rated four and three quarters stars on the Old Navy website and it is one of their best sellers. I can vouch for that because I have this top in another color from last year. It washes beautifully, it's held up well, and the color saturation is still as strong as it was the day I bought it. And I hope that's the case with this one because I fully intend to keep it. The fabric on this is 95% rayon, which gives it that beautiful hand feel, and 5% spandex for the perfect amount of stretch. This is machine wash cold and hang dry. This is actually a swing top. And sometimes I like to wear a top out like this, especially if it's sweltering hot like it is today. Now, because this is a swing style top, and even though I actually went down a size, I still have a lot of extra fabric at the bottom. So if I want to tie a knot at the waist or the hip and change up the silhouette entirely and make it look more fitted, I can easily do that. I often don't do well with tops that have a built-in knot that's manufactured that way. They always hit me at a strange place and add a little bit of belly pooch. So I like being able to determine how high or low the knot is and where it hits me. I have this same top in a yellow stripe from last season, and I definitely wore it both out like this when it's really hot and humid like today, or if I want to have a more fitted look, I would tie it. The fabric of this top just feels so nice on. It is not too low under the arms. You can see that my bra doesn't show at all. I am a big fan of where this neckline hits. It's not too high, it doesn't feel like it's choking me, and I am one of those people that can't stand to have anything near my neck. I am so in love with this color. I couldn't wait to film this video so that I can actually wear this top. I always have this fear that if I wear a top for an upcoming video, that I will 100% spill something on it. So I've been waiting to wear this top, and now I'll be safe. The next top that I want to share with you is the top that I'm wearing, and it came in a two-pack. I'll show you the other color in just a moment. They're calling this the Ultra Light Rib Knit Tank Top. The color that I have is the blue combo. It does come in two additional colorways. These are rated four and three-quarter stars on the Old Navy website, so that's a pretty high rating. 
The fabric is 62% polyester, 33% rayon, and 5% spandex. The fabric does have a really nice feel to it. It is machine wash cold and tumble dry. I absolutely adore the color of this. This is so beachy and so pretty to me. I mentioned that I picked up the ombre flip-flops in a second color, and this is the cool toned version, and you'll notice that the blue matches this perfectly. I think this flip-flop combination is gorgeous as well, but back to the top. Again, as with the previous top, I like how this comes right to below the neck so it protects my chest area. It's not too high. It definitely has a racer back. I have a racer back bra that I wear with something like this, but I don't know if I'll be keeping these and here's why. For me personally, I find that a vertical rib knitting leaves room for expansion. So if you picture that these are the rib knits, right? and they can spread apart, that's exactly what these do, which makes it very comfortable on the one hand. But on the other hand, when I watched the footage back, holy back fat was this gripping every area where I'm carrying a little bit of extra weight. With that said, if I size up, it's just going to be entirely too big. It just clears the underarm area for me now, and because I have narrow shoulders, I really can't go to a bigger size. I was not a fan of how these look from the back. I love the colors, I really do. I don't know about the fit. In fact, let me know in the comments down below what you think of this two pack. I wanna show you the other color because I love this equally as well. This is kind of a tie dye with various shades of blue and blue is my color, tie dye is my jam. I just love these colors. Even looking in the viewfinder, I'm telling myself, how can I send these back? These feel very soft, like baby blanket soft. I do like a tee back in general. I think that it's flattering. And especially because I have narrow shoulders, it makes it look like I have more shoulders than I really feel like I do. But I just don't know if they're flattering with the back fat. So be sure and let me know. How is that even possible? That looks really weird. I look like I'm doing the poop thing. <laughs> They're calling these the double strap Espardil wedge. I can't say Espardil. Esp Espardil. Esp Espardil. 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 Why can't I say Espardil? Esp Espardil. Espa drill. Espa drill. Now we gotta pick up the piece. Espadrill. <laughs> Why can't I say that? Espadrill. <laughs> I feel just like that scene from The Wizard of Oz where Dorothy throws the bucket of water on the witch and she says, I'm melting, I'm melting. I don't know if I should be picking out baby names. I don't know, let me, <laughs> which would be super weird since I'm about to turn 60, but I digress. color is calla, li calla lilies, calla lilies. Now I can't say calla lilies. Espadrille and calla lilies. Now I can't say calla lilies <laughs> or espadrilles. I better practice my diction. The rain in Spain falls mainly in the plain. <laughs> If you liked this video and would like to see more like it, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as a part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here, and I will see you next time.